You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! Uh, huh? Bar God, Danny Myers in the building. 15 Minutes of Fame. Shout out Uncle Rod. This is Henny behind the camera right now. What's up, bro? What's poppin', homie? Man, first of all, I appreciate you letting me pull up on you to get this uh, interview or whatever, Absolutely. man. Especially since uh, you're not battling this weekend no more. Nah, unfortunately, uh, she couldn't make it. You know what I'm saying? I still haven't received word on exactly why. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like kind of in the dark about it. But it's like, you know what I mean? The show got to go on. Shug don't show up, you know, we still getting Geechee and Math, you know, we got the little surprise battle with uh Dot, the Squeako. Yeah. Got Bill collecting Big T and JC and none of us. So we still gonna get a, a solid card. I thought, you know, I felt like me and Shug probably would have been battle tonight, uh, just off of like him continuing the momentum he had with the B dot battle. Yeah. The streak that I've been on. So plus we got like a grudge and it's been going for years. Mm -hmm. So I thought like we was gonna just like, have a great one, you know what I'm saying? Right. I was going to kick his ass. Like, let's not get that twisted. <laughs> I definitely was going to beat his ass. But he's not here, so I, I mean, I'm like, now I'm just going to be in fan mode, be in my blogger mode, you feel me? Like, you know, I'm going to just still have fun, though. Yeah, Um, I'm going to ask you like I asked on, on the broadcast, on the face-off. Yeah, you know I mean, this is for 15 minutes of fame. You had some time to think about this. Do you think that Respectfully to Shug, of course. Mm -hmm. Do you think that him not showing up has anything to do with him not being prepared for Danny Myers? That, to, I mean, a lot of times that's what it be. I, I'm not there, so I can't just, I can't tell y'all that this is exactly why he, and I ain't even spoke with him. You know what I'm saying? That's like, I can't put that off on that man like mm -hmm. that. But for, I know, from me being a battle rapper, from me, uh, experiencing it several other times, I do know a lot of times it be because the opponent is simply just not prepared and they don't, they not trying to come and, you know, give a bad performance and get their ass kicked. That shit be stressful when you don't know your fucking rounds, bro. Like, yeah. I don't know if you've been through that. Yeah. Uh, I know you've been through that. Yeah. I, like, when you know, I've been through it. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, like, getting on a plane and still going over. Like, damn, I don't got this motherfucker locked in, man. I'm going to just try to get through it as best I can. Yeah. Well, I think, and then when you just take that risk and go get your ass kicked, it's like you don't never want to go through that again. So yeah. it's like, niggas be like, man, I'd rather just not show up than to show up half-ass and get my ass kicked, waste everybody's time. I, I'd rather cancel it and come when I'm right. So maybe... That's maybe that's the type of time he owns. I'm gonna I'm I'm keep it real with respect. And once again, with respect to Shug, we just gotta keep it real. Shug has definitely showed up not as prepared as as his fans would have liked. Some yeah, I mean, a, a, a yeah. few yeah. times. Few battles, yeah. Yeah. So if yeah. he didn't show up for the reasoning that you said, would it be because this is a battle that he wanted for a long time? Damn. I. I yeah. 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 You're right. I think that's what it is because he want to be a hundred percent for me. Mm -hmm. He want to be. He, he plus he know what I what I do anyway. So don't on top of you having to deal with a dangerous Danny Myers, mm -hmm. you're also fighting yourself. Uh, damn, I, got, I already got to deal with what he finna bring. Mm -hmm. Then I got to deal with myself not being able to execute this shit right. I might fuck around and jersey out somewhere and make it look even worse. So fuck that. So, like I said, I can't just say that's what it is, but, you know, we gonna try to complete the objective. You complete the like, objective. Shout out know, so, You know, whenever he, you know, whenever, whatever's going on with him, you know, this should be happening to me a lot, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you was there. I was uh, waiting on uh, Jay Kruger to pull up. Yeah, I remember you know that. I remember that. Out there in VA. I'm like, where's Jay Kruger at? And it's like, yo, he ain't called. We ain't see him. We ain't heard from him. And, I never did find out why he didn't show up. So I've been no show like several times and mm. it just be looking like niggas be, they be ducking me. Pat State had a crazy haymaker about that. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like this ain't new. Like niggas don't show up because they, they'd rather not show up at all than to show up half ass. Yeah. So, but I think also, it's also a sign of respect too. Because like if it was like, some random nigga on a, on a small league, they'll be more willing to take that that risk 
of mm-hmm. choking or losing. Because right. it's like, it's a swallow dude. They might be able to beat this nigga with like 50%. But when it's me, niggas know what time it is. They try and bring 130%. That's why I normally be getting the best versions of my opponents, if you notice. Because, mm-hmm. like, I Jerry West come in here. Jerry West wilding on me. You know what I'm saying? Easy to block captain. He's he's wicked. Mm-hmm. They bring their best nights for the, for the bar guy because they they look at it like you know Danny one of those up there like in terms of skill set. When we we take out all the popularity shit, we talking about just straight skill set. They know I'm one of the best, if not the best. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like in this whole culture, so I be getting the best versions of them. So when I do see Shug. He probably, y'all might see the best fucking sugar of all time. You feel me? Hmm. And you know what I mean? So now I got to deal with that. Like, damn, now this nigga coming 300%. Hmm. So that make me got to go crazier than I was about to go. So, damn, man, we just got to see what happened. How uh, how frustrating is it? Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, when you, when, you know, when you prep like you prep. And I'm, I'm you're very professional. And I know you. Yeah. You, you can answer that. Like, yeah. If, you know how much we gotta do. Yeah, hundred percent. I think I think the fans only see they just push play and they mm-hmm. only see the battle. It may be twenty seven minutes, it may be fifteen minutes, it may just be a one rounder that's twelve minutes. You only see that. You don't see the hours and hours of rehearsing and yeah. waking up early and damn, I can't play the game right now. I'm, what the fuck? I'm tripping. Mm-hmm. I don't even know my fucking first round. Hold on, man. Let me, <laughs> let me start going over Hell this shit. yeah. You, nigga, you, you start to look at a movie that feel guilty for thinking you got time like, and Yo, shit. Da, da, da. Nigga put the phone down and shit. Nigga like, what the fuck come after that? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay, I got it. Nigga, like, they don't Straight see like that. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Nigg- that- niggas don't see yeah. all that. You feel mm-hmm. me? So when you prep and prep and prep and prep and prep, and then you ready, and you're like, oh, okay, I got it. I got these rounds. I'm ready. And then you, your man don't show up. It's like, man, I could have been doing all kind of yeah. other shit or prepping for somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, then it's like, nigga, like, I'm. I need that back end type shit, like nigga. Yeah. Like, now you gotta figure out the business part of it. I'm about like, to so so. Let's get into that uh, real quick. That part. How, how does that work? Uh, sometimes, sometimes they'll 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 still give you your back end. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about no league in particular. I'm right. Talking, I've been on all leagues. Exactly. Saying, Facts. This has happened to me. So sometimes they still give you. Hey, hey, shit. We got it. Hey, here you showed up. It ain't your fault. He didn't show up. <laughs> you flew out, you know, whatever the case mm-hmm. may be. Here you go. Or sometimes they'll be like, hey, we don't really do it like that. Like, we can't, you're contracted to receive the money once the battle is completed. Yeah. So, you know, we, we can't give you. And then we'll be like, fuck. <coughs> yeah. And, and as battle rappers, we know what day we get paid on. It's just right. like your job. It's like, you know, you get paid every other Friday. Mm-hmm. You, all right, okay, I know you get paid on Friday. So, okay, this bill done came. All right, so I know, okay, I could do this on that day. So, the same thing with battle rap money. You know, you getting paid on such and such day. Mm-hmm. Then, when you, that, the money don't come on that day, yeah. it'd be like, oh, fuck, I was banking on. Yeah. I was kind of banking. Like, if you don't got no other outside sources or revenue or whatever it may be, even if you do, what you, you yeah, what you if, should, but still, it's your even money. If you do, got it's your money because you did your job, you did the work, you did the hours, you lost time, sacrifice. So you, mm-hmm. it's not even counting your chickens before it's hatched. You did everything you had to do to make sure that chicken was was cracking this that motherfucking is, shell. Is yeah, shit. Uh, any battle rapper watching this shit will know I'm telling the truth. Like, nigga, we some of them back ends, we be. Why you think niggas show up on them days? You know, mm-hmm. it, it might be you don't know your fucking rounds all the way. You might feel like you might lose this battle, but nigga, them bills and whatnot, whatever the case may be, you showing up because you need that extra back end. That's what mm-hmm. we get paid for this shit, bro. So I want my fucking money for the work I put in. Mm-hmm. So in different leagues work it out different ways. Sometimes they'll be like, all right, uh, well, what we'll do is we'll just put this back in and we'll apply it to another battle type of scenario. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, or we'll front you this, or we'll... They work it out all kind of different ways. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it just be... 
when your man don't show up, I be like, nigga, I still want my fucking money. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. He didn't show up. That ain't my problem. I came to work. I'm here. I had to took I took all that time out my my life practicing for this shit. Done came out. You know what I'm saying? I'm away from the family. Hey, I need nigga. I need mine. Mm -hmm. I don't care if this nigga don't show up, nigga. Give me mine, and then y'all gonna fuck around. Have to rebook it again with a whole nother. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like if your man like no show, and then you want your back end, and they give you the back end, and then they want to reschedule the battle, they'll tell you, hey, you already paid in full. We done already. You got your deposit and your back end. Right. You still owe us that battle. But some battles be like, yeah, but that was then. You mm -hmm. need to give me a whole nother rebooking fee to rebook right. this shit again. Right. That was for that battle. This is a whole nother battle, though, even though it's the same nigga. Mm -hmm. Get what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's a whole nother date. So now you got to, you might have to take out some bars. You might have to rewrite shit. Because let's say you had certain bars in your round, your man didn't show up, and somebody else just said some of the bars you was going to say or something similar to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now you got to rework and now Which is the worst shit ever. <laughs> Bro, we done all been through it. Yeah. You know what it is. You yeah. feel me? Then you gotta. So it's like, nah. If I gotta work again, if I gotta work again, even though it's for the same point, I wanna get paid again. You know what I'm saying? So this should be tricky, man. Niggas just gotta read their contracts or negotiate. Oh, I still want my back end if such and such don't show up. That needs to be in your contract. Yeah. I need the rest of my money, even if he don't show up. If this nigga choke all three rounds, I don't care. I need mine. Yeah. So it you got niggas gotta be careful about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause it might be in the contract that you don't get the back end if the battle doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the niggas definitely gotta yeah. <laughs> and if yeah, contract. yeah, read your contract. Negotiate. Or or or, or, or if shit. you don't have a contract, you you yeah, it's a nigga it's a nigga nature. But <laughs> it's on whatever you know what I mean. Talk that street shit. <laughs> it is what it is. Talk that street shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, do you, Danny Myers, say, uh, because you got the Jay Krug situation and then you got certain other battles that m may not have happened on the day of that yeah. did eventually happen because you and Krug ain't never happened, never but other joints do. So do you recycle those bars? Like, do you use them in other battles or how does that work? Um, if I know the battle ain't never happening, I'll break the bars. Like, this is what we all do. It ain't just me. You'll take the general punches out and apply it to somebody else. Yeah, yeah. The shit that be specific for that man and you can't say it to nobody else, mm -hmm. it's like you probably just drop them on YouTube, just put the bars out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it, let me, I'll put the bars out so the fans can at least hear what I was, you know, or at least some of the ideas I was going to say. Or you just like, man, I'm finna rework all this shit and this shit going to the this nigga. Yeah. He ain't gonna know. He ain't gonna know it was for man, like I done did this before. Like a lot of listen, a lot of shit old Red got was a, a some a lot of that shit was for twerk. Mm -hmm. Like when me and Twerk was supposed to battle at initiation and twerk no showed me that's another fucking example. Like like I, that was a big that was a big deal. Like me and Twerk initiation. Uh LA, you know what I'm saying? I think Saga battle, uh, yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. Saga battle, I think B dot battle, Mike P, I believe. Yeah, I was there. I was there. Yeah, so we waiting on Twerk. Oh, Danny Twerk ain't coming. I'm like, fuck. And then it was like a whole year done went by. I'm like, man, shit, oh, we about to get. Oh, <laughs> now, you know what? <laughs> So bad. Oh, oh the joke oh. when you when you got when you got on the ground and oh, shit. On no, that was for that was for him. Okay, that, okay, okay. Like, on top of the three rounds that I had for O Red, I threw a whole lot of that torque shit on top mm -hmm. of that. So it was like this is a double whammy. Translation. <laughs> I called him at the wah wah. Yeah. That, I, that was I crazy. That yeah. He said, "Bah bah the bah bah the bah bah bah." Translation. Translation. We and VA. I, I called my nigga at the wah wah. <laughs> that was hard. That was fucking crazy. I've never crazy. seen no wah wah in my fucking life. That was crazy. That was. I love that drink right there. I yeah. I said up there. I said, "What is this place? It's called. It's, that's how you say it. Wah wah. Wah wah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's the wah wah. Like, <laughs> what that sound like?" What, already, translation. Like, I said, you know what? I'm putting this in the translation. Nah, that was that. 
that translation wasn't even in my rounds. It, I just so happened to see the wild wild and it just came. It was like a Eureka moment. Like, Bing. That was like, crazy. So, yeah, man. But, yeah, like a lot of times we just break the bars up. And, like, my Suge rounds, I, like, I really can't take this shit and, and apply it to nobody else. Okay. Because it won't make sense. It's, it don't apply to them. This shit, for Suge, is specifically for him. You know, I'm, I'm going to have to probably take out a couple bars and rewrite a few of them just because the battle not going to happen. And I had certain little things playing or a current event bars that was in there. That, And now, like I said, if you don't say it, somebody else going to say it. Yeah. And if you say it afterwards, they're going to say you stole it from a nigga, even mm -hmm. though you had it first. So it's like, now yeah, but outside of that, should go and get these these same rounds because I can't say this shit to nobody else because it's so specific. <coughs> yeah. To him. So you know before we uh, before we move on, because I got a couple of things I want to touch on. Anything you want to say to Shotgun Should until you see him again? Um, yeah, man. Nah, if it's a you know, hey, if it's a family mercy or a personal whatever, Real man, shit. just get through that shit. You know what I mean? Like Real shit. I don't have like me and me and Shug actually kinda cool. We like we ain't best friends. I don't call him and hey, how are you kids? We don't do none of that. I see him as his, his respect. It mm -hmm. is a grudge. It's still a it's a grudge, but it's like it's a hip hop grudge, not a real life grudge. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? So yeah. whatever you're going through, hey, get through that shit. You know what I'm saying? If it if it is a situation where you just wasn't ready, then it's like did he make the best decision? You know, because it's like, you could have just came out here and just took the ass whooping like a man and just went on about your business. Or <laughs> you probably made it a little worse on yourself because you actually gave me more time. Nigga, you ain't, you ain't the only motherfucker that got more time to prep now. I got more time mm -hmm. too. And I was already ready. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm already ready. Now you're going to make me more ready. And I think this, but you know what? This scenario happened with B-Dot. Him mm -hmm. and B-Dot, right? I remember. He didn't show up. He had, like, another two, three weeks. Then when Shug show up, he get through his rounds pretty clean. And they, a lot of niggas like, oh, shit, he kind of got with B-Dot. Like, yo, I don't know. I got Shug winning. Like, it was that egg, them extra weeks help. Okay. So I guarantee you, had he battled on the day he was supposed to battle, he probably would have choked somewhere. Hmm. So, you know, but, you know, I don't know, man. Like, I'm still kicking your ass, Shug. Bottom line, it don't matter if we battle next week, five weeks from now. I don't. It don't matter. You're you're still getting thirty. So <laughs> you and and you bet. Listen, and you bet not choke steel. You know what I'm saying? Like don't don't put, postpone the battle so you can be more prepared and then get in, in the battle later on and still fuck up somewhere. Like. Mm. Don't do that, man. Get through your shit clean. Let's give the people a good show. And, you know what I mean? Let's get this money, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Shout out Shug, Danny Myers. You know what I mean? We about to keep on going, but hell yeah. I'm going to end this one right here, though. 15 Minutes of Fame. You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame. Baby. Let's go.